Welcome to this free lesson that's part of a larger course you can find on digitalcreatorschool.com. Before we get started, as always, you want to set your project by going to File, Set Project, choosing the correct folder that you want your project to be set in, and then go back to File, Project Window so that all the correct folders can be created so that when it comes time to render, that your images will be the correct folder where your render images will go, and the scenes that we're going to save as working files are going to go in the scenes folder. Let's start by creating a sphere. You can do that by creating a normal polysphere, or I'm going to go to the platonic solid, and I'm going to go to the inputs here and increase the subdivisions to three. I'm going to hit F to frame up on the object here, and I'm going to go to deform, texture deform, and then I'm going to add a texture to this deformer by clicking here. And I want a 3D texture. For this effect to work, we need a 3D texture. The solid fractal or volume noise works well. The volume noise has a more obvious immediate effect than the solid fractal takes a little bit more work to give it more drastic results. So I'm gonna choose the volume noise for now. And to make sure that the texture is being applied to the normals instead of just straight up and down based on the handle of the texture deformer, I want to go into the texture deformer and choose direction normal. Now the texture deformer is being applied to the normals of the faces of the sphere. By clicking the place 3D texture object here, I can scale up the 3D texture so I can adjust the effect to be more soft or more sharp based just on the scale of the place 3D texture object here. So I'm gonna go for something a little bit softer. The next thing we can notice is that the texture deformer is reaching a limit here. We can start to see the, the surface of the sphere. So if we go to the texture deformer into the texture itself, we can dial down the amplitude so that it's not hitting that limit of the shape of the sphere any longer. Next, I wanna create a curve circle and then choose the 3D texture while the NURBS is still selected and go to the animation menu, constrain, motion paths, attach to motion path. Now, if we play this back, you can see it looks like it's just rotating. So we need to go into the motion path settings by selecting the NURBS circle, going to motion path and unchecking follow. Now, if we hit play, the texture will move through the object instead of just looking like the object is rotating. To get rid of the slowdown of the motion path, we can select it to display the keyframes in the timeline, double click the timeline, right click, and choose tangents, linear. Now it will loop seamlessly from the end to the beginning. We can also get rid of the last frame by changing the timeline to 119 instead of 120 because the first and last frame are the same now. So for it to loop, we need to get rid of one of the those frames, the first or the last. So now we have the start of the looping blob. In the next lesson, we'll refine this a little bit more and start lighting and rendering it. Thanks for watching this free lesson. If you wanna see the entire course, you can become a member at digitalcreatorschool.com to get the course in its entirety, as well as all the courses available on the website, in addition to all future courses that will be published as a monthly or annual member. You can cancel any time. I will see you there. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the bell notification icons, as well as leave me a comment if you wanna see more videos like this, or if you have a suggestion for a video you'd like to see in the future. Thanks for watching.